In this video, we're going to make use of L'Hopital's rule to sketch functions. So typically, when you're sketching functions, you, you want to know what happens uh, dead on zero, uh, x equals zero. Uh, the reason is because x equals zero is easy to evaluate. And, and also, uh, you want to know what happens when, when x is very, very big, and what happens when x is very, very small. You see, dead on zero, dead on zero, this whole thing breaks down, because you're going to have something over zero. Something over zero, it breaks down. So, so dead on zero it breaks down, but you want to know what happens as it approaches zero. Well, you want to know what happens as 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 x approaches zero. It's really you wanting to know this. You want to know the limit uh, as x tends to zero from the right hand side of this thing here. So, if if you look at this thing here, uh, the, the uh, graph of e each of the x looks like this, but then you've got each of the minus x, so so it looks like this. So this this graph here will look like this and uh, and you want to know what happens as x tends to zero from the right hand side only so uh so so as you approach the right hand side this here is 1 so so this thing here will be 1 and then uh and then uh, as x approaches zero from the right hand side of this it's going to be zero so here you've got a definite number divided by zero so so in your mind you you should uh, know that uh, it's going to shoot up, it's going to shoot down. It it does not exist. But because we we we're trying to find the limit of uh, as x tends to zero from the right hand side only, from the right hand side only. So hang on, from the right hand side only, from the right hand side only. This thing here is going to be positive one because if if you look at this, if you look at the graph, it's heading towards positive one, and then uh, and then this thing here. Uh, x y equals x looks like this as it approaches zero from the right hand side it's going to be very very small and it's, it's positively small so uh, so it's going to be this so you know overall it's going to be positive infinity so it's going to shoot up as it so the combination of the two it will shoot up the point here is that the limit of this thing here as x approaches zero from the right hand side is going to head towards positive infinity so we know our graph will would do something like this. It's going to head towards up. Uh, so, so x equals zero is here. As you approach zero from the right hand side, it's going to shoot up. Now we need to consider what happens when when you approach zero from the left hand side. From the left hand side. So, looking at this, it looks like this. Now, as as you approach zero from the right hand side, this is heading towards still positive one. It's still heading towards. So this thing here will be positive 1 because look you, you can see this is 1 here it, it is heading towards positive 1 and then uh, and, and then re remember this is approaching 0 from the left hand side so y equals x looks like this this is your graph of the denominator so as you approach 0 from the left hand side it is going to be very very small um, and, and it's negative small so, you, so you're going to have something very 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 small here very very small here Let's say three here. Um, one divided by a very small number is going to be very, very, very big number. But then you've got a negative here. It's going to be very, very negatively big. It's, it's going to head towards negative infinity. So this thing here is heading towards negative infinity. This thing here is heading towards positive infinity. So we know, we know whatever our, our function looks like is going to head towards positive infinity. And approaching zero from the left hand side is going to head towards um, towards negative infinity. Now we want to know what happens when when x approaches infinity, positive infinity. So we want to know this. Hang on. We want to know this. We want to know what happens as x approaches positive infinity of this. So let's let's try and look at the graph of this graph here. It will look like this. You see, as you approach, as x approaches positive infinity, it's heading towards towards zero. Is heading towards zero, uh, and then this thing here is heading towards. Uh, well, if you look at this graph here, it's y equals x, which looks like that. And then as x tends to infinity, it's heading towards infinity. So zero divided by infinity is going to be is going to be zero. So so for for example, if you have zero over a very very big number, it's going to be zero. It's heading towards zero. What well, what well, sorry, it is. Zero. So this thing here is going to be zero. There, it's heading towards zero. 
So so we know we know our graph looks like this. We know our graph looks like this. And now as as it approaches um, positive infinity, it's heading towards zero here. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. And then now we know, we need to investigate what happens as x tends to negative infinity. Well, negative infinity is really you trying to evaluate this here as x tends towards negative infinity. So negative infinity. Let's look at this. Um, th that graph here looks like this. And then as um, as you head towards negative infinity, you can see that it's going to get very very positively big. So this thing here is going to this thing here is going to be uh, positive infinity. And then uh, and then let's look at this thing here. Y equals x looks like this. But then as as x heads towards negative infinity, it's going to be very very big but negatively big. So it's going to be like this. So you're going to get this form here. Remember when it comes to L'Hopital's rule, we, we can consider this form as infinity over infinity because negative infinity over infinity we can consider as this or, or if you have infinity over next we can consider this as this as well so this is uh, an indeterminate form where you have infinity over infinity so we can now use L'Hopital's rule so differentiate this that will then give you this differentiate this that will then give you this now if you look at this graph Look at well. This graph here looks like this, but then, but then a negative version will look like this. And then, uh, as x tends towards, um, as x tends towards negative infinity, this thing here is going towards, um, uh, it's going towards what? Well, it's going towards negative infinity over one, basically. This whole thing here. So negative infinity divided by one is ve a very negatively big number divided by one. It's going to be still be a very big number, negatively big. So, so here, this whole thing here, it is heading towards negative infinity. So we know our graph looks like this, something like this. Uh, positive infinity is heading towards zero here, and then here it's heading towards negative infinity. As x tends towards negative infinity, it will head towards negative infinity, negative infinity. Get a graph plotter, plot it, and it will look something like this. You see here, if you approach it from the right, if you approach zero, as x approaches zero from the right hand side, it's heading towards positive infinity. As x uh, approaches uh, infinity, it's going to head towards this. As you approach zero from the left hand side, it's going to go to negative infinity, and this here is going to be negative infinity, and so on. Get a graph plotter and plot it, it will give you this.